Hi, I'm Kirsten Kazin, and I'm going to be serving as a missionary with Mission to the World in London, England. So my favorite thing, I am so excited to be back into a city and get to ditch my car. I'm really, really excited about the tube and the public transportation system. Least favorite is probably, you know, I, I love, love, love British accents, but I know that my head is going to probably be lagging behind. I've had a couple of ex embarrassing experiences where I don't quite know what people are saying to me and it's adjusting to that. Oh, so I've gone back and forth on this one a few times. I think as of right now, um, I'm gonna go with teleportation and especially looking forward, oh man, it wouldn't it be great if I could just hop back and forth overseas really, really quickly. So I'll go with that. Wow, so like a lot of kids, I know, I think I went through an artist phase. I definitely went through a veterinarian phase. Um, I went through a lawyer phase and that lasted for a very long time. I, I was not, there's obviously a lot going on. Couldn't really pick, pick a lane and stick to it, I guess. Wow, you know, I just really love, um, I love the relational aspect of it. I love getting to meet new people. And for me, I've just always thought it's so terribly fun to meet people from different cultures and get to, whether it is a different language, different accents, different cultural customs, that is just so terribly exciting to me. I'm so excited to, to meet people, to dig in and just build relationships. So I like, um, this probably makes me sound boring, but I've always, always loved rice. And I love, I'll eat it plain or with butter, whatever, but also I'm, I'm sticking to that because rice is so versatile and you can do so many different things, so many different cultures and types of food. So yeah, it's, it's really a crowd pleaser. Wow, I don't know what holiday I would be. <laughs> The first thing that popped into my head was Thanksgiving, and I don't know what that says about me, that I'm the holiday where we all gather around and eat. Um, but I love, I love Thanksgiving. I love time with your family. Um, to me, it's just such an awesome opportunity to eat good food, but also just to spend time and, and catch up with people you maybe haven't seen in a while. I'm definitely a night person. I wish I was a morning person. Um, as we get into summer, the birds have been waking me up lately. So I'm, I'm pretending like I'm a morning person. And as long as I have coffee, I guess I can masquerade. But no, definitely a night person. Ooh, definitely dogs. I do like cats though. We've never, I have too many people in my family that are allergic. But down the road, I could see myself with both. Oh, nothing super exciting. I can um, lift one eyebrow, which I'm not even gonna be able to do it. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I thought it'd be cute. I was gonna go, oh, look at that. And I'm too, um, yeah, okay. No, not really. Not a very talented person, I'm so sorry to say. <laughs> Um, I love to cook and to bake, and I've been trying a lot of new recipes. COVID's been a really good opportunity for that. Also, I don't know that I would call myself a hiker, but I do like to go out. I'm, I'm looking forward to finding new trails and parks and paths in London. You know, I'm um, really a Chicago gal born and bred, and so I don't know, somewhere in the city maybe, downtown, there's nothing like being um, by the lake or by the lakefront and just watching the scenery. Uh, well, my knee-jerk reaction was to say Jesus, and, <laughs> and we all are going to, right? Um, Probably Paul, maybe. I just, um, it's so amazing to read, his, to read his letters and just what he went through, um, what he sacrificed for the gospel. Oh my goodness, is just absolutely fantastic. No, what kind of question is that? It is not soup. I'm actually, and I know this is super controversial, I'm not a huge cereal person in general. So love my soups, could do without cereal.